Monitoring is a great way to ensure that your self-hosted services are up and running as expected. Your servers are online. Your network is reachable. Your Docker containers are serving out the applications as expected and your Kubernetes clusters are healthy. I want to introduce you guys to a free and open source monitoring solution called CheckMK. I've been playing around with CheckMK in the home lab for the past few days. I want to give you guys an overview of this really awesome free and open source monitoring solution that you can stand up very easily. So stick around, let's look at installing CheckMK, configuring it, and actually adding nodes for monitoring in the home lab. Is monitoring so important? Well, as you start to stand up more and more self-hosted services, you're going to want to ensure that those services are up and running. After all, none of us have the time that we want to actually sit in front of a console or in front of a monitor and actually keep a watch on our servers, our services, our applications. After all, you can't spend all day running a ping command against your servers and rolling through those time after time. And that's where a proper monitoring solution comes into play. Monitoring solutions allow you to ensure that not only are physical resources up and running, you can ping those certain services are up and available. Also, monitoring solutions allow us to monitor applications and they not only help us to ensure that those applications are simply up and running, they also help us to troubleshoot and to gauge more challenging issues such as performance issues. CheckMK is a really awesome solution that allows you to have a totally free and open source monitoring solution that quite frankly, many of the paid products or these companies that actually have monitoring solutions out there that have an enterprise version, not many actually offer a free and open source version for you to run in an unlimited way. Most will have limitations based on how many nodes you can monitor or a sensor based type licensing model. But it's really awesome, even though CheckMK does have an enterprise edition that has many features, bells and whistles that enterprise organizations would want to use. This uh, raw edition is a great solution, especially for home lab environments. If you want to run this as your monitoring solution in the home lab environment. And one thing I really like is the variety of installation methods that they give you to actually roll this out. In fact, if you have your own Linux server that you have stood up on your hypervisor, you can simply install this in an existing Linux server. They also have a really great option to run CheckMK in a Docker container that is extremely easy. And I'll show you guys how easy that is to just simply spin up a new container with CheckMK. And they also have appliances for download. If you're running VMware vSphere or VirtualBox, you can download this pre-configured appliance from CheckMK that allows you to just easily throw this into your virtualization environment and you're up and running. Now, in case you're wondering the difference between the raw edition and the free slash enterprise trial. That's a good question. And one that I was wondering about as well when I looked into CheckMK to begin with, the raw edition is completely unlimited and it is free and open source. So you're not going to have any limitations on the number of devices, sensors, that type of thing. However, the free edition includes all of the features and functionality of the enterprise edition, but you are limited to 25 hosts according to their documentation. And you guys correct me in the comments if you know otherwise. The enterprise edition if you look at the additions comparison, you'll note that the Check MK Raw is 100% open source, as mentioned. Enterprise Edition slash Pre Edition is a more performance based addition. It has a little bit different monitoring core that they mention is more high performance than Check MK Raw. And you get additional plugins, you get automatic network discovery, all of the features and functionality that you would assume that you would get out of the box with a true enterprise solution that teams would be looking at deploying this in a business critical environment. Let's take a quick look at how to deploy CheckMK by using a quick pull of their Docker container for the CheckMK raw edition. 
Installing the CheckMK monitoring solution is extremely easy, especially if we use the Docker container for CheckMK raw edition. So I've just simply navigated to CheckMK, get the raw edition, CheckMK for Docker, and we're going to select the latest version. And if you scroll down, they give you the Docker command line command that you need to run to get up and running quickly. Now, as you note, know, it sets up the port for you. It sets up a temp FS as well as a persistent volume for the monitoring site that it's going to configure. Using this name parameter, you can actually change this to the site name that you want the site to actually have in the URL or to answer to. A time zone, we've got restart always as our restart policy. We're pulling the image file. So I'm going to just simply copy this and I'm going to go back out to the connection that I have to my Docker host. I'm going to paste this command in and we're just simply going to run this command. And as you see, it doesn't find the Docker image locally. So it's pulling that down. And once the Docker image finishes pulling down, it will automatically run the container and then we will we'll, uh, pick up the process from there. So the Docker container has finished pulling down and we should be able to issue a Docker PS and see that the CheckMK Docker container is up and running. Now that the Docker container is up and running, we can inspect the logs for our Docker container and we can get the initial password for this CheckMK installation. So if we take a look the CheckMK Docker container logs will show you the initial password that is configured for your CheckMK instance. Really cool. So you don't have to worry about a weak password being configured or some generic password. It automatically configures the CMK admin with this auto-generated password. And this will be different each time you pull the container. So now we can navigate out to our port and browse to the CheckMK monitoring site. Now that we have the CheckMK Docker container up and running, we can browse out to the CheckMK site, log in using the temporary admin password that we get from the Docker logs, and we can start now setting up the CheckMK solution, adding our hosts, our host monitoring rules, and all of those next steps that we need to do to stand up our monitoring solution. Now we've browsed out to our CheckMK server instance. So I'm going to log in. To do that, we click Setup, and then we go to VM, Cloud, or Container. And as you see, we've got an option for VMware ESX via vSphere. Here is the host monitoring rule that we want to configure for VMware ESX. And this essentially allows you to enter your username and password that you need to authenticate to your vSphere environment. So I'm going to click Add Rule. And I'm going to give it a description. I'm going to enter our username. And on the vSphere secret, I'm going to enter the password for the SSO administrator. It's also important on the SSL certificate checking to set this to deactivated. Everything else, we should be able to accept the defaults. Now that we have the host monitoring rule configured with the credentials that we need to connect to our vSphere environment, we can go back to the setup tab. We can then go to our host option and click host. Here we're going to add host. And on the add host screen, we're going to add our vSphere vCenter server. CheckMK will automatically use the credentials that we've set up for the host monitoring to authenticate to our vCenter server. We're going to click the save and go to service configuration. The service configuration will run a discovery using the credentials for the host. As we can see, it's automatically pulled in all of the metrics that can be monitored for this environment. As we note as well, over on the right hand side, we've got two changes that we need to commit to our check in environment. So we want to be sure and do that. However, I'm going to go ahead and accept all on the services. And what this will do is accept the services to be monitored in the check MK solution. As we can see, it has added the services that we want to monitor. Now we have more changes that we want to commit to the check MK environment. I'm going to click the four changes, we're going to activate on selected sites. This activates the changes that we've made to our check MK configuration. Now, if we go back to monitor and we go to all hosts, 
we will see that we've got our vCenter server and the services are pending. This means that CheckMK is going to query all of the services for the metrics and analytics, and we should see these go to an OK state. So as you can see with CheckMK, it's really easy to onboard an entire virtualization environment, such as your VMware vSphere environment, just by simply setting up that host monitoring rule and then adding your vSphere environment. You can easily add the environment and then allow CheckMK to auto discover many of those metrics that you want to monitor on. Let's take a look at what some of those are. Now that we have our vCenter server added to our CheckMK monitoring server, I want to show you guys the wealth of statistics that you get from the CheckMK monitoring solution with an environment like VMware vSphere. Uh, notice you get CPU utilization, data store I.O. summary, file system summary of the ESXi hosts, file system summary of the vSAN data store, hardware sensors, network interface sensors, maintenance mode sensors, uh, memory sensors, multipath driver sensors, and many other sensors related to the virtual machines themselves. As you can see, I've got some warnings on the virtual machines. Then we We've got our special purpose VCLS virtual machines. We've got a VM kernel swap monitor. One of the things I really like as well with CheckMK is what they call a perfil meter, which is a visual representation of these metrics that we are gathering from our monitoring of our vCenter server. So really powerful. And not only can we monitor VMware vSphere, if you go to the VM cloud and container option, note that we have VMware vSphere, we've got Azure, we've got AWS, we've got Kubernetes, Proxmox, and Prometheus. Many other options here under the VM cloud and container monitoring that we can certainly do with our CheckMK environment. Also, as you guys uh, may have noticed, I already had a Docker container host added to the environment. This environment is a Docker container host that I have with Docker containers running. So I wanted to show you guys all of the sensors that you get with a Docker container host and that monitoring that you can flag on in CheckMK. We've got Docker containers, Docker disk usage, and images, volumes, node info, so a lot of really great information that we can pull for even just a plain Docker container host in CheckMK. As you can see, CheckMK is really fully featured when it comes to monitoring virtualization environments that we're probably running in our home labs. But just thinking about production as well, it's really fully featured. Uh, you can monitor all different types of environments. We've demonstrated vSphere. We took a look at a Docker container host. However, it offers Kubernetes monitoring and network services monitoring, application services monitoring, and just general device monitoring. If you want to just make sure devices are up and running. And what I really love about this solution, especially thinking about home lab enthusiasts like myself, is that it is totally free, totally open source, and there are no limitations outside of just some of the enterprise features that you don't get in the raw version. Also, we didn't really look at notifications, but CheckMK has a really wide range of notification options from simple email alerts to text messaging to pager duty, all of those types of things that you can do with uh, check and K. It makes it a really great solution to not only monitor the environment, but also receive notifications when things are not right or when you need to be alerted for service outages. What do you guys think about check and K? What are you using to monitor your home lab environment? Are there other solutions out there that you really recommend and that are free and open source and easily available to the home lab community? I'd really like to know what you guys are using, so please do share that in the comments. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope you've really enjoyed this video and this overview of the CheckMK solution. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon.